hello friends today i will discuss the design of heating element heating elements are used for heating the water that is called um, water heaters similarly for resistance ovens also we use it for welding purpose also we use um, heating element so like this there are several applications whereas here we discuss about uh, only heating element design heating element design means only finding the dimensions of the given or the required heating element here there are two types of heating elements which are popular one is called the circular wire the other type is called the rectangular strip so first i will take up circular wire whose length is l and whose diameter is d and whose resistance is capital r so the unknowns here are the diameter and length of the wire these are the two things which we have to find out to get that so we we apply the voltage to this wire and pass the current through the heating element and its temperature starts increasing until it reaches steady state temperature here there are some terms which are to be remembered hot body means it is also called heating element this is also called heat source there is another term called charge this is also called cold body or this is also called sink and this is also called element to be heated or material to be heated and there is another formula for heat dissipated from a steady temperature hot body that is given by stefan's radiation of heat h is given by like this 5.72 into 10 power 4 into k into e into t1 by 1000 whole power 4 minus t2 by 1000 whole power 4 watts per meter square here k means it is the radiation or radiation efficiency e is the emissivity of the material of the heating element t1 is the temperature of the hot body T2 is temperature of the cold body. Then the electrical input to the heating element we write like this: P is equal to V square by R, where this V is nothing but applied voltage to the wire or the heating element, and capital R is the resistance of the wire, and the resistance is capital R, and its uh, area is given by pi by 4 d square. where d is the diameter of the wire so once we substitute this in this equation that is p is equal to v square by r in place of r we write rho l by a so we know what is a so we substitute that a also here so pi d square v square divided by 4 rho l and from this we can write the equation like this l by d square is equal to pi v square divided by 4p rho and we say this is equation 1 means we are writing a equation in terms of unknown values that is l and d so at steady state temperature so whatever uh, heat input is given the same output will be dissipated so heat dissipated or heat output we can write like this p is equal to h into pi into d into l this pi dl is nothing but heating element surface area and h is the heat dissipated in watts per meter square so we know what is this p that is heat input that is pi v square d square divided by 4 rho l so we substitute here in place of p and we write like this is equal to hp d into l and from this again we write the unknown 
terms equation that is d by l square is equal to 4 rho h divided by v square. We say this is equation 2. So if you look at the equation 1 and equation 2, so there are two equations, two unknowns. The unknowns are l and d. So using the two equations, we can find out those two unknowns. Next, coming to the another type of heating element design, that another element is nothing but rectangular strip. So here the aim is to know the what is the length of this rectangular strip and what is the width of the rectangular strip. This is the length of the rectangular strip and this is the width of the rectangular strip and this is the thickness of the strip. So here this is one surface area, similarly the back side also there is another surface area. So we write total surface area of the rectangular strip as WL plus WL. So we write 2 into W into L and coming to the cross sectional area of the strip. So this, this area is W into T. Then heat radiated by hot body H is given by 5.72 into 10 power 4 K into E into T1 by 1000 whole power 4 minus T2 divided by 1000 whole power 4 watts per meter square. Here K means it is the efficiency of radiation and E is the MCVT of the material and T1 is the steady state temperature of the hot body in degree Kelvin and T2 is the temperature of the charge in degree Kelvin. And we know power equation, so when we pass, when we apply the voltage V and if we assume the resistance of this strip is capital R, then we write P is equal to V square by R and we know what is the area of the strip that is W into T that is uh, surface area. Uh, cross sectional area is WT. So we write P is equal to V square by R. R means rho L by A. Rho L by A means so we write in place of A W into T. So V square by rho L into WT. And from this we write the equation L by W is equal to V square T divided by P into rho that is equation 1. And we know whatever heat is generated in the heating element that must be equal to the heat dissipated. So first heat dissipated we can write like this H into surface area. Surface area is nothing but 2 WL which is already discussed. And H is the heat radiated or dissipated per meter square. So we write P is equal to 2 WL into H. So from this we write the equation L into W is equal to P divided by 2 H. And we know what is this P. We have already seen there. That is P is equal to V square WT divided by rho L. The same thing we substitute here. WT V, v square divided by rho L. And from this we rewrite the equation like this. L by T, uh, T by L square is equal to 2 into rho into H divided by V square and we say this is equation 2. If you look at this equation 2, L is unknown but the thickness of the material is normally mentioned so we get from this L. So once we know the L value, using this equation, we can find out what is the W also. So the aim of this heating element design is to know what is L and what is W here. So both are obtained using this equation 1 and equation 2.